I'm Carol Hinkle, president of EEE, which stands for Education and Enrichment for Everyone. Triple E was actually started in 1990. We are now 33 years old by a bunch of people who, in conjunction with some local university professors, thought it would be a nice idea to start an organization where retirees or almost retirees could have access to lectures that were thought-provoking, interesting, diverse, and we're still doing that. Although we are now called, as I said, Education Enrichment for Everyone, and we are open to everyone. We meet usually on Friday afternoons between two and three. We have a fall semester and a spring semester. Lectures are uh, probably 11 or 12 lectures each semester, depending on how many people we are able to book. Um, over the years, we have gradually developed a list of types of lectures. So it, under these four, five categories, Vermont issues, US issues, foreign affairs, Vermont history and the arts. A lot of local professors who will talk on, oh, international, like we've had someone speak on China, on Russia, topical issues. Vermont history, we had someone talk about when the bicycle first arrived in Vermont. Other things that we've done are cybersecurity, which our members loved. A professor from, from Champlain actually came and talked to us about that. We had Ray Vega come. James Stewart from Vermont Public. We love the bird diva. She has talked to us many times about raptors and owls and women in ornithology. Sometimes there'll be a topic I think, I don't know if I want to hear about that, and that's probably my favorite lecture. You can see that we are trying to cover topical, interesting things of the moment, as well as some good history. We are supported by membership dues and donations, and then we have walk-ins who also can come to view just one, two, three lectures at a time, and they pay a small fee of $8 each lecture. We have live lectures now, and because of the pandemic, we also do Zoom webinars. And I love that we're able to access people wherever they are in their lives right now.